everybody, Mrs. Reeves and Sherry. Hello, Sherry. We are going to watch a dinner today in the story. I'm hungry. Oh no, she's hungry. Well, we're going to eat later, but this is really awesome because Jesus is in the story and he is being honored. You know what that means? Well, that means they're doing the dinner just for him because Everybody loves him. He's so special and he's do, he does so much good everywhere he goes. So are you ready? I'm going to ask you a question when it's over, Sherry. It has something to do with what happens to those who are forgiven much. Hmm. So think about that and you guys think about that too and we'll find out. Here we are at the dinner, boys and girls. The Bible says it's at the house of a man named Simon. Simon's invited Jesus to come be the guest of honor. The people are gathering. They're so excited. They're wondering, what is Jesus going to do? Or what is he going to say next? We want to know everything that he can tell us about God and, and, and how to live our lives and, and what's right and what's wrong, boys and girls. And there's a friend of Jesus at the, at the dinner, and she, her name's Martha, and she gets the privilege of serving everyone. Boys and girls, it's a privilege to serve people. Uh, she's going over to them saying, if you need anything, be sure to let me know. I'm getting ready for this meal, and, and, and I just want everyone to have enough food and enough drink. And, and to honor Jesus. And so she's serving the people. That's an honor, boys and girls. We must be servants. Also, she has, she has a brother named Lazarus. Lazarus is at the meal. And he was sick just a few days ago, and he died. He was so sick. But then Jesus showed up, and Jesus rose him from the dead. He, he was dead, and he said, Lazarus, come Forth. He came out of the tomb that he was put in, and, and uh, life came back into him. Jesus is doing that today also, boys and girls. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. These two, Lazarus and Martha, who's serving everyone, they have a sister, and her name is Mary. And she loves Jesus just like they do. She loves him so much and she's at she's at the dinner to honor him. There's some other friends coming. They're so excited. It's such a happy day. It's six days before they're gonna celebrate the Passover feast that that they do every every year. And and Mary wants to give Jesus a gift. It's a very costly gift. She saved and saved and saved and saved for it. And um, so she's going to leave a little bit and she's going to go get it and bring it back. And we'll see that in a little bit. So they're getting served. They're having a nice time. The Bible doesn't say exactly what Jesus is telling them at this dinner. But Mary comes back and she's carrying a container. And she comes into the room and she kneels down right at Jesus' feet. And Mary, just like all of us, had had a lot of sin in her life. And the Bible says all have sinned, boys and girls. And she Jesus knows all the sins that we we've said or done or thought. And he he knew Mary's. Mary had talked to him, and and Jesus forgave her of sin, all those sins. And when you are forgiven much, boys and girls, you love much. And she's going to express her love for Jesus here. She loves him because he is so good to all. He is so kind. He is so merciful. And so she's going to do something to express her love. In that, in that container there is a very expensive perfume, it's called Nard. And she had to break the container to get the perfume out. And when, and when she broke it, she, then she poured it on Jesus' feet. And you're probably thinking, why is she doing that? Well, the Bible calls it, she's anointing his feet. 
And that's what that is called. She's using the perfume and she's pouring it and she's pouring out all her love. She's giving him all her love. And that's what we need to do also, is not pour out perfume for Jesus, but give him our love. So she's doing that and all of a sudden the fragrance from the perfume is filling the room and, and it makes everybody stop because they know that's an expensive fragrance and, and they look and they're watching her and there's someone very um, upset about this boys and girls and his name is Judas and he's one of those disciples and he just, oh my goodness. He's just having a fit. The Bible says it like this. Listen to this. When Judas saw what was happening, he said, Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. And wages are what we earn at jobs, boys and girls. Now, he didn't say this because he cared about the poor. The Bible says it was because he was a thief. He would steal. He was keeper of the money bag for the disciples and for Jesus. And he used to help himself to what was put into it. You never want to do that, boys and girls. You never want to help yourself to things when you know you shouldn't be doing it. You never want to help yourself to the cookie jar if your mom tells you not to. Or help yourself to some change laying around if your parents, you know it belongs to whoever it belongs to and if it doesn't belong to you, you don't help yourself to it just because it's there. So that tells you about Judas. He was upset about that, but Jesus came to Mary's defense. Boys and girls, when, when someone's saying something about you or doing something to you, Jesus comes to your defense. And here's what happened. He said to Judas, leave her alone. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. And those words just stopped Judas from saying anything else. And I just imagine, now this isn't what the Bible says, but I just imagine that he just probably went somewhere, left. Because Mary was expressing her love to Jesus. She was forgiven much. She loves much, boys and girls. And she anointed his feet for the day of his burial because Jesus died on the cross. But the good news is he rose from the dead and he is alive for. Question time, Sherry. Oh, Ricky, are you ready? Okay, here it is. Remember, what happens to those who are forgiven much? I bet they know. I do too. Oh, <laughs> good. What? They love much. To boys and girls, when you are forgiven of a lot and you realize it, you love more and you know we love Jesus because we were forgiven a lot he took the sins of the whole world and was our, our sin offering our sacrifice and because of that we get to live much and we love Jesus we want to we want to just do whatever he wants us to do because he's our God he's our Lord I'm ready. You bet I'm ready too. Are you ready kids? It's a very awesome life.